Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Um, I am back with another story, but first I want to thank you all for the 1,600 subscribers. I am truly grateful to all of you Wallahi, for watching and all your kind words uh, more than anything else. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And whoever hasn't already, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thank you in advance. I am here today to tell you, oh, we're going to go back quite a few years, about 20 years, um, or 19 years, uh, in Somalia. And this is my FGM story. This story start, uh, started in Somalia, in the little village that I visited um, in the first story that I told you. And it's called, the village is called Mokokuri. And it's a really small village, but it's full of my family and I adore all of them. Um, growing up, you get told, you know, uh, this is what women do and how good it is and how it's like a transition from being a girl to a, a woman and Everyone does it and whoever does it whoever doesn't do it or get it done get the FGM procedure done then um, It's considered ebb Which is really weird to me and I didn't even know um, Much about uh, Guditan, we call it Guditan, it's in English is FGM, female genital mutilation. And um, I didn't know much about it um, until I came to the UK and only when I had my daughter. So I was 21 when I found out what it really was and how it was against uh, Islam. And how it's just bad overall well I, I i never deeped how bad it was like i was one of the lucky ones that's how i consider myself anyway so we were told growing up from a very young age this is what's going to happen this is what's going to be done just be ready for it kind of gets you excited a little bit so you're like oh i like good i good you know i'm excited now there's nothing to be excited about um, which I found out. Um, it was me and uh, my two cousins. One was older than me. I was either six or seven. I don't remember. Um, and they brought us to my grandma's house and there was a woman there. And she's, I, my cousin went first. So she sat down and as soon as she sat down, every, Yo, before that, it was all smiles. Smile, 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 smile. All smiles, right? Even the girls that got it done the day before would tell you, it's no problem, it's, it's okay, well, I, it's no problem at all. Has it? Has it? It's like, I, I went through this pain, I want you to go through it too. Well, Ooh. So my cousin went first. She sat down and yo everything happened so quick everyone just started like grabbing her one grabbed one arm the other grabbed another uh, uh, um, uh, arm uh, one grabbed one leg the other grabbed another leg and everyone is like trying to pin her down um, her butt down on the floor and they separate her legs and uh, get, they get a material and they shove it into your mouth or like just kind of like tie it behind your back just so that your screams are not heard throughout the little village that we lived in. Yo, when I saw, they take a little sakin and it's like a little razor. They take the razor and this woman went to work and started cutting this uh, six year old, five or six year old. When I saw the blood, me and my cousin looked at each other. Yo, we ran in opposite directions and it, they got us they got us 
when a certain earlier they brought us back, we had to sit there whilst they finished um, this girl's, uh, my cousin's procedure. And we're just, well, I was stunned. And I'm like, this is going to happen to me. This is going to happen to me. This is going to happen to me. Like, yo, what happened to her? I was shaking from head to toe. Okay. And then right after, I don't remember whether I went uh, second or my other cousin went, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter because it was, it was just messed up. It was, it was messed up. Let's just say I went second. They uh, put me down, <laughs> forced me to sit down. And whilst I'm sat down and I'm, I'm being held, like people, any, like people are just taking any parts of me and just trying to hold that part down. And I noticed this woman who was doing the cutting, who was performing the FGMs. When I looked down, there's a jar. She has a jar. And the jar had uh, bits in it. Uh, access skin, um, the essential parts of, you know, the vaginal area, everything they removed, they put into that jar. I saw the jar, I saw the blood, I saw the bits. Yo, one I, 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 yo, I started panicking, panicking, but panicking so much that I was fighting. I was fighting my, yo, yo, my, yo, my everyone. I was fighting. And because of that because she, i was kind of like I, I wouldn't rest so i wouldn't I, I would not allow my bum to reach the floor i just wouldn't because i knew if it did and i stayed calmly then she would cut more so i i fought as much as i could um and then you get to a point where you can't fight anymore and your body goes into like shock and you don't get any painkillers, you don't have any anesthetics, you don't get a warning, you don't get ooh, a one, two, three, you don't get no countdown, you don't get nothing, okay? Yo, I talk to me, you better do everything you can, but no one listens to you. And then once the cutting was done, they sew you together. Like take one part, one part together. And so not only does a, a child who's, who goes through FGM not only feel the, the pain of the razor cutting their skin, but they also feel the sewing. They, they feel every single time the sewing, that, that needle goes into their body, they, they feel it. And I am one of the lucky ones who actually survived, but there are hundreds of thousands who have bled to death and there's no record of them. There are some that we have rec a record of, but there's a lot that we don't have a record of. Um, when that, as soon as it happens, they tie your legs together uh, with the material so that you don't, you know, move around and take out the stitches. And I don't know if this happens uh, to every girl that has uh, had, uh, FGM but with me <laughs> they bathed me, they bathed me in in uh, I think it was sheep's blood covered me from head to toe not just me everyone and I think it's something to do with the shock I, I don't know what it is but this is it's not nice not nice <laughs> please let me know in the comments below if you have ever experienced being showered in blood okay or is it just me? So, um, after the blood is washed off you, they give you like a little time to uh, recover. You can't move much, you can't do nothing. And who peeing? Who, subhanAllah, peeing is not the one when that procedure is, is done. Because there's first, there's no uh, space for it to get out of. Second, it is painful and it stings. Third, there's no painkillers. There's no hospital in sight. There's, wallahi, there is so much, there are so many complications and so many uh, different things that can happen to a person that goes through FGM. Worst case scenario is death, but there's other complications as well. That could have been me. And wallahi, I am grateful till this day. But then, 
when I arrived here and I arrived in the UK, I realized this isn't normal, that it isn't as they advertised. And sadly for me, I got my period when I was nine years old. And as you can imagine, obviously it needs somewhere to escape, uh, to come out of. And But in the case of anyone who's had the FGM uh, procedure done, it's very, very difficult um, to not only pee, but to have a normal um, cycle. It would be very, 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 very painful. Like I ended up in hospital every single month and no one knew what was wrong with me. Um, obviously because they didn't examine it. Um, FGM is killing and has killed too many people. And whenever I hear about it talked about, whenever I hear it talked about in the Somali community, it's always, uh, oh, Dean Tashekte. What's Dean? Uh, well, we, got, we got the same Dean. Because Alhamdulillah, I can read and write. I have the ability to, to go on the internet. I have the ability to educate myself on my Dean. And I know that it is not, it is not Islamic in any way, shape or form. That's FGM. There is a female circumcision, but it's Sunnah. And it is nowhere near cutting and scraping and uh, 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 sewing. That's not what it is. You can go search that up. If you condone FGM and if you practice it and if you... Uh, uh, allow a child to have it done whether you're an auntie you're a dad you're whatever you are yeah and you do not intervene wallahi billahi talahi wa ahlu nar if you condone rape allow it accept it or do it you're going to hell because islam has given so many rights to women so many rights they're given a uh, 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 financial rights they're given uh, educational rights. They're given uh, social uh, rights. They're given uh, uh, work rights. They're given, we have so many, so, so many rights way before in the English uh, civilization. How is it possible that these things are so common, but then yet hardly ever talked about, but then when it is talked about, it's, it's kind of like a taboo. Oh, that don't happen. That only happened to you. That's your family. That's not the rest of the community. What? So it's only my family decided to do this. So everyone else in that village and everyone else in Somalia who's ever had it done or whoever who I've met, so what are they? Somali Maha? I grew up with insecurities. I started physically tearing from the age of nine until the age of uh, 14 because it had nowhere to escape. So it, it literally teared through my skin. And when I was 18, I was uh, raped. I was beaten. I was humiliated. And not one male family member did anything about it. Nothing about it. And I don't understand it. I do not understand it because it says in the Quran to protect your women, to protect your daughters, to protect your sisters, to protect your wives, to protect your mothers. Whenever they talk and, and they, 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 they share their pain and their, their, their um, experience, they're laughed at. Yo, listen, I, a lot has to change within the Somali community. It begins with us. And when I say us, I mean the younger generation. Because at this point in life, I need to go away. Because they see me as a younger person. Uh, like, who are you to tell me? Like, I know better. But you don't know better. If you knew better, give me the money. If you knew better, give me the money. If you knew better, if you knew better, yeah? I hope that FGM is put to an end for good because Wallah is not Dinian. It is not Dinian at all. 
uh, women are made perfectly. Allah has made them perfectly as he wished. So for you to change that, whether you're a man or a woman, a mother or a father, an auntie or an uncle, to change the way a woman was born, it's a massive crime against the child and against Allah because you're saying Ilahi did not is is not flawless. Ilahi is not the the, the, the uh, greatest of designers. That Ilahi is not. Uh, you're insulting Ilahi. You're insulting Ilahi and you're insulting Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam because when Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said it is Sunnah, he did not say Sunnah Kabir for all. Yo, ya, ya, didn't want to do it Follow it as it is. Follow it as it is. I need to hear the team like that. I've seen that so Please, wahel rabu like that. I've seen that. I've heard this many, many, many. It's been told many times. Didn't take a matay. Didn't take a way. Give the high na astray na. How can astray sin? The bab amal asan ship. And then makala araso hug boom. No, habibti. My, no, 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 no. Give me making that the wheelie shin that cooker ne sin naga and asas all all that ma marte. Sin Somali in in al arasa ma baahabo. Tas in a haran la qatawaabo. Because walakay hadat hai in Islam your your family ne baba. You have to protect the give the high na. Hadal hadal ku imado ku daha usara legu su dibatan an legeste. In a dahit ma ha. Karsa ab ta na no kare. Wer ab ti na was. Ab 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 adi kala. Niki o o o ka am so fir so don unu giri so o o o o la gogo na yo. Nati fir so to gebrte de o la yoga yo. O nige se to o ok o la waka so benin. Abihi o gebrte se charmota masa nilo kotel mamo. Walak gebrte se walashi se masa gebrte se masa sahib. Even sahibi ne kotel mamo nilo charmota ab ab ab. Dean time I'm quite bro. It's not part of our dean. I see you on TikTok all of the uh, all the time. They're called the Haram police, except they are Haram. With their comments. What subhanallah ya rabbi. Ilahi rabbi rahmanu nasu haluni. I pray, you know, ilahi nasu haluni. And makes us better people. And helps the ignorant ones out there to understand the dean better. Because you guys might see this as a problem. But yo, this isn't. This is no problem compared to the, the problems that are out there. So, inshallah, let's work to fix those instead of criticizing and and bad mouthing our, our our sisters. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back soon with more stories, real stories, obviously. And inshallah, until then. Click that like button, please leave a comment, subscribe and click that uh, bell so you can be notified the next time that I post. Bye.